we're actually calling all of the people who are on our waiting list at the moment to try to find out what has led them to need to be on ADAP. Did they lose their jobs and therefore their insurance? I'm conjecturing that that's a large piece of it. Um, Certainly some of these folks are people who are newly diagnosed with HIV. We have a tremendous prevention program, and with that goes our, our testing program. And as you mentioned, we are trying to do quite a lot of testing in North Carolina. We've tripled the amount of testing we've done. And that's very, very good news. And to have the the funding that we got a couple of years ago to do that was was also tremendous. But with that, of course, you do find new infections. And for some of those folks, if they don't have other resources, then they need to look to ADAP or other programs to, to get the service. So it's probably job and insurance loss. It's probably increased in the number of people we're testing and, and finding who are HIV positive. It's probably some folks who are coming from other states and other areas and, you know, needing services that they, you know, now that they're new to North Carolina. So it's probably a lot of factors together.